Hi, this is Kirk. We're going to talk about the Garmin G5 uh, in a little bit more detail um, right now. And so uh, we're going to talk about the upper unit uh, very quickly for a moment. And I'm just going to point out all of the features that are here. We've got the ball. Um, you can see the artificial horizon uh, right there. Um, you can see the attitude indicator right there. This is the, um, the airspeed indicator right here. And as we reach each one of these um, uh, airspeeds, so uh, VX is 59 knots, VG is 65 knots, VY is 75 knots, VA is 97 knots in this plane. Uh, it's been programmed for that. Uh, as we reach those speeds, um, those indicators will show up right where that yellow line is um, by the airspeed indicator. Uh, and it will also match the coloration that you, can, that you can see on the steam gauge version of the airspeed indicator. Um, so it's green when we're in the green range. Uh, it'll be white when we're in, inside the flap range and, and um, you know, yellow and, and red as we <laughs> get uh, into the... Um, uh, the more hazardous airspeeds. Um, we get the essence of a, of a uh, turn coordinator here um, that we do have the ball. Um, and we also have, uh, I actually can't see them right now, two little, when I'm flying, there are two little blue arrows that show up on either side that show me where the two minute turn um, uh, takes place and so I can use that for two minute turns as well um, so that's the focus on the upper unit oh you can see that right here we've got the the heading indicator um, and uh, that's basically repeating all of the information that's here on the lower unit and so right now we've got it the heading bug on 163 um, but I'm going to move it over here just to show you like this as I'm turning this and so I can press this and hold it and it'll put the heading bug back on the current heading uh, so I hold it down like that there we go and it, and it pops back up um, if you watch on the upper unit you'll see that the heading indicator bug moves you can see it moving back and forth on the top and that briefly also gives me a visual indicator that that change is taking place. And so this is real handy, you know, when you're taking off, you can hold it down for a couple seconds, it will set it for the runway heading, uh, and then you can use that heading bug to, you know, coordinate your uh, pattern uh, and keep yourself on cardinal points. So notice uh, here in the heading indicator that this is green right now and it says LOC, that's because we're on the localizer um, and uh, that's because this is echoing information from the 430. Uh, so if we look at the 430 for a moment, you'll see that we're set on a localizer frequency 109.3. We can switch it over to GPS like that. And now if we go over here, you'll see that this says VOR. All right, so I'll flip back and forth here for a moment so you can see the change take place. There we're on localizer and now we're on VOR. Um, I can also flip the CDI indicator here, and that's going to flip it from VOR mode over to GPS mode. So we go like that, and now it says GPS. All right, and now this is purple, and you can see on the heading indicator that it says GPS. So I switch to VOR mode, and then back to GPS mode. Uh, when you're flying to golf, there can be some confusion because there are two VORs in here. This VOR here is attached to this radio right here. This device, the heading indicator and also VOR, is attached to this device here. Okay, so um, that's all we're going to do on the G5s right now. This was just a quick introduction for people that want to fly the plane. Thank you. Bye.